Hey, Tiger Rock Nation. Wanted to explain how the board breaking in Nashville is going to work at the Tiger Rock World Championships July 17th and July the 18th. A few different things will take place that are very, very exciting. First off, the reasons. We want to be able to make the experience great for our customers, our students. So we want it to be a process where you're not going to stand in line a really long time. This is a very, very popular thing to compete in. So there normally is a pretty big line. So instead of five breaks, there's now four breaks. Of the four breaks, if you break two of them, you win a bronze medal. Break three, you win a silver. Break all four and you win the gold. You'll have a limited amount of time to complete the breaks. You'll be able to set your boards up, make sure they're at the height, but once you go, the judge will say go. Colored belt students, that's green to red, you'll have 20 seconds to break the boards. Black belt, you'll have 15 seconds to break the boards. It's set up in a square so that it's more like a combative self-defense type situation. So break a board, turn and break another board, turn and break another board, and then break the last board. It does not matter what order you break the boards in once the judge says go. Again, you'll have a limited amount of time. The number of boards that you break in that amount of time, that's the medal you receive. We're gonna show you the color belt techniques right now. So the first technique or one of the techniques is a number one side, then a number two side, a number three front kick, and then a downward elbow. He'll do the, the color belt ones. I'm gonna tie them so you can see an idea of how long it takes him. And then we'll set it back up and do the black belt ones. And go. Yes, sir. That took seven seconds, between seven and eight seconds for him to complete those breaks. He's a black belt instructor so he's able to flow a little faster so a junior green belt who might need a little bit more time or remind him what the technique is within 20 seconds should be able to accomplish that but we have to set the, the students up for success so they know what those moves are next we're going to demonstrate the black belt techniques for you the black belt techniques are a jump number one side kick a spin side kick a jump number three front kick and then again the downward elbow start and again when the judge says go the student would begin so go again seven to eight seconds flowing right through between each technique so again black belts will have about twice that 15 seconds to complete those techniques through the process if you have any questions, certainly contact Tiger Rock about how the process is going to work. It's going to be a fantastic addition for competitive aspect of it. A little bit of change, not the same way it's always been done, always getting better. And again, it should be able to help our students get through the line a little bit faster. We'll see you in Nashville.